This video is uh, aimed really at A-level further math students and also possibly A-level math students who want a little bit more background on uh, standard deviation, whether to divide by n or n minus 1, particularly those who do subjects where you are divided by n minus 1 correctly, by the way, like biology and geography or whatever when working out the standard deviation, because this is something over the years I've known has caused confusion. Okay, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the formulae and the no different notations used first, because um, it's very important that we actually get the cut formally right, and people write them in so many different ways that this in itself is not helpful. These are these are the formula I would say for population. So in a, in this in this case, in these cases, if you're using the formula here, these formulae then they are to do with a whole population so we're not doing hypothesis testing really we're we know we're basically doing a census we we're interested in the whole population and we want to know what how well spread so it's kind of an area of statistics it's sometimes called descriptive statistics you're describing what you know for certain to be the case so, for example, if you wanted to know what the weight of um, a particular uh, breed of dog is and you uh, weigh every single one of them, uh, you can then say with certainty that, you know, that the mean is all of them added up divided by the total number and the standard deviation is this formula here or your more no so the variance is that formula square root it for the standard deviation and the or that formula is probably easier to use most of the time i think this formula is normally easier to use this one's more intuitive but i'm not going to go into the details of why this is a measure of spread in this video you will find plenty of other sources for that. But standard deviation variance are measures of spread. And it's all to do with what the mean deviation from, of the mean, from the mean. That's basically what it's all about. Um, but if you absolutely know everything about the population, then you can, you can use these formulae here. And that's all very fine. If you're talking for these formally, you're talking much more about hypothesis testing and hypothesis testing is about taking a sample and then from that sample making inferences about the general population. So going back to my uh, example with the dog, the, dog, the particular breed of dog, well, if there's 100,000 uh, of this breed of dog in, in the UK, we're getting date getting reliable kind of information about all hundred thousand of them might be very difficult so you might try and do a take a kind of unbiased sample of of uh of that of say you know well just hundred of them say or even just 20 of them just to to actually get inferences about what the mean is or other other information from it but you won't do, and here's the point and this is what hypothesis tends to in and also confidence intervals all these things are all about you won't know what the pop the mean you won't know what the mean is you will only have a kind of you will have what's it called an estimate of it and an, and and the whole point is we want that estimate to be as good as possible in other words unbiased that doesn't mean to say it's going to be it's going to be correct it just means that in the long run you're going to get closer you, you, the, the, if you were to continue doing this you're going to get closer to the actual uh you know you, you're going to be closer to the actual mean okay um right this isn't and this is so when we're talking about samples this is about hypothesis testing which is why in biology geography and all this you are taking samples and therefore it is and sometimes quite small samples um and therefore it is in, quite important to divide by n minus one in these situations okay um in a level maths in itself they tend to get around this and which is why perhaps some of the confusion is because I never really divide by n minus 1. And that's because of this. If n is large, it doesn't matter very much. The calculations are nearly the same. 
does a lot much but technically we should if it's a sample we should be dividing by n minus one okay so we should be dividing by n minus one if we're taking a sample and we're using that to estimate uh, the variance of the original population um, there are and it's not helped by the fact that various notations are used I've in a level maths we use sigma squared to mean population and s squared to mean when we're estimating when we've got a sample and we want to use that sample to estimate the standard deviation of the population and that's what's called an unbiased estimator of the standard deviation okay but calculators tend to use this notation sigma n and sigma n minus one hopefully for obvious reasons but in um i tend to and i think the, the syllabus here is sigma, sigma squared and s squared and this thing is also confounded by the fact that you might see this formula quoted in various different ways uh, the formula book writes that as the in the OCR further mass formula book writes that which was almost the same but you might also see it written like this um, 1 over n minus 1 sigma xi squared kind of the xi squared uh, minus nx bar you might see it written like that um, or various there's various ways but they're all basically rearrangements of each other so remember these are variance formulae square root of them gets you an estimate of the standard deviation so that's basically the general gist of what I'm trying to get across but I just want to talk about this you know idea of the estimator before we close off um, I personally, and I'm just talking from personal experience, because of the various different ways you see in textbooks and videos or whatever of calculating standard deviation, I often kind of refer back to this, which is a kind of conversion from the two calculations that divided by n or n minus 1. Of course, that will convert one to the other. OK, if you want to work uh, the standard deviation, uh, the sample standard deviation out, uh, you can just times by the ratio n over n minus 1 from the population standard deviation. And that's something I've always found helpful because I think that all the variance formula and standard deviation formula tend to get less messed up because of the n n minus 1 issue isn't a problem with that where it is uh, a little bit with the uh, variance for me so I tend to like to refer back to that I think what a lot of students do is they just get jumbled up in the head and then they just go to the formula book and I think that's part of the problem uh, that's what the formula book says and I think half of the uh, thing is just different notations used uh, which um, which cause this confusion Right, so I do want to go into this a little bit more. Um, the so why why the two different approach? Why are they different? And um, the actual technical reasons that uh, I'm not going to go into. There are various other videos which can um, explain this by simulation and also by proof. But I'm just going to just kind of skirt it, at least address the issue or kind of refer to this issue more and to the principle without actually proving anything just trying to look underneath a little bit so the the for the dividing by n mu and sigma these are called population parameters they are they may or may not be unknown. Typically in statistics, they, they're, they're unknown. You're, and you're trying to find them out or trying to trying to get a kind of get an estimate for what they are. Whereas X bar, this is our mean. And this is our standard deviation. Or S, these are these are sometimes these are statistics. And the a statistic is just something that's based on 
the definition of a statistic is just something that's based on on calculations from a sample. From a sample. So you do you, you can work out you, you, you take a sample and you work out a statistic from it. So for example, the mean is that that's a statistic and the standard deviation let's work the square root in this now is n over n minus one sigma xi squared minus x bar squared okay that's my standard deviation and um, those are statistics they, 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 it doesn't mean that they're going to be the same, that they, they don't tell us anything about the population with certainty, they just estimate it. And this is the point, this is where we're, this is where we're coming into the thing. Um, and for those who've done expectation algebra, here's the thing. The expectation of X bar is equal to mu. Okay. That's fairly intuitive. And the expectation of S squared is equal to the actual population. So what, we're, and these are unbiased estimators. So what we're saying is, in the long run, these are, this, is, this calculation S is gonna give us a better, the best estimate of the actual the actual standard deviation of the original population than dividing by n. It's important to appreciate that we don't know what sigma is, we don't know what the standard deviation is, but we are making a better estimate of it if we divide by n minus 1 in the long run. You might by chance be wrong, of course, you might be better off by dividing by n with a single sample, but in the long run you are going to be better off divided by n minus 1 if you do this all the time and if you took lots and lots and lots of samples of of a particular size and you divide by n minus 1 uh, in all of those samples for the standard deviation they will be distributed around sigma squared sigma squared will be the kind of the middle of those estimates so it will be an unbiased estimator so uh, nearly done. So just to summarize, so for a sample, sample, so if we're doing hypothesis testing, then divide by n minus 1 has got to be the way to go. Although with bigger values of n by n minus 1. So we're using that for, we're using s squared. But if it's population, so in other words, we're absolutely certain of you know, we, we, we know we, we're, uh, we've got the whole population in front of us and that's all we're interested in, then we certainly do not divide by n minus 1. That's called the population parameter. Okay. Um, thankfully, the mean, we don't have this problem because the, the calculation for the best estimate, the estimator, x bar, and the mean are the same. But it's just uh, this thing, uh, situation with... N, N minus 1 which crops up. The reasons are technical. There are some nice videos with some simulations, most of them US based, which I'll flag up. Um, one with and some with some proofs which are not uh, really beyond the scope of certainly A level further math stats, which I'll also flag up. Okay, that's a good place to stop. Bye.